I knew normal and hello students. Welcome back to Dimsu, where there is wisdom to live. I also welcome you to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to have an orientation about your subject, Environmental Science. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. And of course, it is also important for us to know the philosophy, vision, mission, and goal of DIMSU. Starting with its philosophy, total human development with appropriate competencies. Vision, a globally competitive university. Mission, provides high quality instruction, research, and extension. Goal, to lead in transforming human resources into productive, self-reliant citizens and responsible leaders. Alright, so let us now move on to the course title and description. For our course title, this is GECC 101 or also known as the Environmental Science. And this is the course description. A three-unit course focuses on the study of nature and scope of environmental problem, population, and economic growth, energy growth, and future environmental hazards, human environmental hazards, climatology, and meteorology, ecology, and as well as environmental management. And now, we also have our content standards. So, upon the completion of the course, the student will be able to first relate and reflect values necessary for environmental protection and development. Second, relate and illustrate with examples the ecological roles of different natural resources. Then, we also have explained how environmental problems affect our natural resources. And we also have to show deep understanding of environmental problems. Then discuss different approaches to solving environmental problems and its cause and effect solutions. And we also have to explain the global situation of our environmental with updated data. And of course, we also have to describe how the sustainable development affects our environmental problems and natural resources. Then, of course, we also have here your class schedule for the BSOA in Section A. For your regular schedule, we have Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, that is 8 to 9 a.m. So, we will meet three times a week. And, of course, you also have your pandemic schedule, that is only Monday and Wednesday, same time, 8 to 9. While for the BSOA Section B, you have also the same subject, but your time is 9 o'clock to 1, I to 10 a.m. And then for the pandemic, you only have Monday to Wednesday, same time. And of course, for Section C, you have Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as well, 11 to 12 p.m. So for the pandemic schedule, it is Monday. And Wednesday 10 to 11 a.m. So please take note of the schedule. And still on the class schedule for the Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, Section A. So for your regular schedule, we have TTH, one and a half hour. It's 8 o'clock to 9:30 a.m. So, for the pandemic schedule, same day, Tuesday and Thursday, and then the time is 1 hour only, 8 to 9 a.m. And for Section B, for your regular schedule, you also have Tuesday and Thursday, that is 9.30 to 11 a.m. And then for the pandemic schedule, you'll only be meeting 1 hour, same day. And that is 9 to 10 a.m.
And then, of course, we also have our class meetings. So, we usually meet three times a week or three hours a week. And therefore, I divided it for us to be more organized when it comes to passing and giving activities as well as module. Okay, so for the first meeting, for my activity as your teacher, it is for uh, intended for giving module activities, online schedule, and announcement. So, for you as my student, of course, you have to pass off your activities, module or module reading, and uh, as well as module monitoring. So, you have to scan now and download your module so that you could uh, read it on. And, of course, for the second meeting, so, my task is uh, class monitoring and consultation by a uh, FB Messenger, so you can just uh, chat me since we'll have also our GC. You can just ask questions there. And as much as possible, please avoid um, personal PM because uh, to save time as well as other other classmates or your classmate would also see some corrections whenever there is. Okay, and of course your um, responsibilities you have to have an online participation during class activities such as debate and recitations as well and then of course you can also ask questions during this time if you don't understand some topics or some ideas regarding our topic and then for our third meeting, this is now the giving of activity and online quizzes. So, of course, there will be a schedule and that will be given during the first meeting. So, naman lagi. So, we just have to have uh, maybe a module, the modular activities. And of course, your responsibility is to have class participation and have to log into your DepEd Common that will be using this platform for quizzes only. So that's all. And of course, for the computation of your grade, you have here your grading system. For the midterm total grade, this is equal to the class standing, which is 60% of your grade, plus the midterm exam grade, which is 40%. And then for your final total grade, the same, we have your class standing grade, that is 60%, plus your final examination, that is equal to 40%. Now, to compute for your final grade, we have your midterm total grade, that is 50%, plus the final total grade of your finals. You just have to get the sum and you will now be able to have your final grade. And now we also have your course requirement for this subject. So at a specified deadline, the student must be able to comply with the following. First, you have to secure a copy of your environmental science module that I will be giving in our official Facebook group. So make sure that you are included already in our Facebook group. So the second is weekly monitoring and passing of your class activities. So we have set a schedule. When am I going to pass? It is on Monday, right? Or on the first week of our meeting. And after that, we also have to join our FB group for online class and submission of your activities. And then the fourth one is you have to download the DAP Ed Common or quizzes.com for online quizzes that I will be sending to you the link later on. And of course, you have to pass on the quizzes and oral recitations. You might be having some debates and I need your participation. And then we also have to pass your midterm and final examinations. And most importantly, you have to submit your projects for you not to be incomplete or in progress by the end of the term or semester. And lastly, is you have to submit the com violation of exercises come for it portfolio and the other requirements 
For the subject requirements, you have your ball pen or pencil, band paper, copy of module, then you have coloring art or coloring materials, you have your expanded long envelope, and then big science notebook. So make sure to buy a big science notebook. It is where you're gonna place all the activities and you have to submit it or drop it in Dimsu Mlook. And then of course you also have your outcome or project base com paper. So either of these versus we have the home application of proper base aggregation and or backyard gardening that is 25 percent or photo exhibit or photo collage that will be individual that is another 25 percent and then of course we also have our course guide in environmental science um, i actually divided this into four modules so for the midterm we have module one and two so for module one these are the following lessons introduction to environmental science nature of environmental science natural resources non-renewable and renewable resources then effects of human activities to natural resources and of course for module two these are the content we have forest resources mining timber extraction and domes we also have water resources and then on the week 9 we'll have our midterm examination and of course for your finals we have module 3 and 4 for module 3 of course we'll be discussing about the mineral resources food resources energy resources and environmental problems such as pollution melting of polar ice cups soil erosion and landslide we also have climate change and then we also have waste disposal and then for module 4 these are our topic climatic environmental problems such as typhoon floods acid rain red tide and uh, and others and then we also have approaches to solving environmental problems and the cost effect solution and then for the last one, we have the global environmental situation, sustainable development in the future. And then, of course, we also have your final examination. And of course, we also have our course criteria for our project-based rubric. I'll be providing this one. I'll just gonna pass it on in our FB group. And we also have our references for environmental science book available at the library you may use that as your reference whenever you going here at Ipsu MLUC and of course we have a lot of electronic sources or resources that you may also browse on and this is now the end of our presentation but before we end this orientation, please like and subscribe our video and don't forget to click the notification bell below. See you in my next class. Goodbye!